Hello everyone, it's Troy here from Tennis Warehouse back in the studio today. And today we're gonna to be talking about 18 by 20 string pattern rackets. Um, I did a video a few years ago and it's about time to get some of the newer models that have come out since then, some newer generations. So we're gonna show you uh, some of those today. Um, for fans of 18 by 20 rackets, you know that uh, with that dense string pattern, you're gonna get maximum control, more feel for the ball, and also when you're hitting ground strokes, you get a little bit lower uh, trajectory or launch angle, so a little bit more direct flight for those people that like to flatten out the ball. So um, to start things off, I got a couple of play tester rackets. So the first one, we have none other than the Head Speed Pro, endorsed on the tour by Novak Djokovic, but also uh, Chris Edwards, play tester racket of choice. Now this racket here um, has the 100 score inch head size, has a little bit thicker beam than your typical player racket at I think about 23 millimeters. So you're getting a pretty forgiving uh, 1820 here. Bigger sweet spot, pretty easy energy return, and it's not too stiff. It's still got a pretty low flex, so comfort's good. Really well balanced 18 by 20, not too difficult to use if you're trying to try one out for the first time. So that's the Speed Pro there. The next one up, very uh, similar specs to the Speed Pro, just a little bit lighter at 305. This is the Prince ATS TechStream Tour 100P. This is Playtester Tiffany's racket of choice, so pretty maneuverable here. Um, like I uh, was talking about with the Speed Pro, um, the 18 by 20 pattern on this, um, it's only got three sets of uh, mains in the throat, so it's pretty spaced open. It actually plays more spin friendly than most 1820s. So another forgiving 1820 and also very comfortable with the low flex. So nice one there from Prince. Next up, we have the Yonex V-Core Pro 97D. Now this is more of a player spec. This one's right about 12 ounces strung, so nice and hefty, nice and solid. Um, I used to play with the V-Core Pro line of rackets, so Tons of feel here, tons of control. Um, fans of that really low flex, kind of classic filling frame. This is a really nice one to try. And um, compared to some of the previous versions of it, it got a little bit thicker in the beam, so a little bit more pop coming from this update. Next up, we got a, a few more of the 305 uh, unstrung frames here. We have the Blade 98-1820 version eight. Um, I've used previous versions of this going back way back to the K-Blade in the 2015 model. But this particular update has the Braid 45, so it gives it a nice uh, solid feel, but still very comfortable. So it's a really nice balance there on the feel. Um, not too heavy overall weight, but has a nice substantial swing weight. So it comes through the ball, nice plow through, um, just a great one for a soft feel and great on the slice. Next one up is maybe my favorite pick of all these on the table today, but this is the Technofiber TF40-305-1820. Uh, very similar specs to the blade, but just a little bit stiffer and firmer feeling, which I find gives me just a little bit more easy power and pop, but transitioning into the next racket, not quite as stiff as that one. So um, from the TF40, we're going into the Babolat Pure Strike uh, 18 by 20. And this one's the firmest out of the three that I just talked about. This one really packs a good, a good punch from the high swing weight and the stiffness. Um, this one's endorsed on the tour by Dominic Team. So uh, fans of him with the one-handed backhand that like a hefty filling frame, this is a great choice to go to and just a really solid offering from Babolat. These next ones here, the last few, um, including the Babolat Pure Strike are all right now under $200, so strike at $199. This next one is another Prince racket. This is the Phantom 100X 18x20. Um, the thing that really stands out about this frame is just the really, really thin beam of the Phantoms. Super soft, super flexible. Anybody out there that likes more of that player spec and also is looking for something to protect their arm, very, very soft feel doesn't really get much better than the Phantom Rackets and uh, this 100X 1820, just a great racket, nice big sweet spot, big spin window. When I think about this racket, I think of an old player, um, Nikolai Davidenko, didn't use this model but used an older version with that 1820 pattern from print, so great baseliners racket there. Last couple for today, a Dunlop uh, CX200 Tour 18 by 20. This is the smallest head size I brought in for today. This is a 95, but actually plays a little more forgiving with the round sort of shape to the head. Um, not too heavy. It's got a nice classic player's feel, but it actually swings pretty maneuverable. Only like 
in the mid kind of 11 ounce range and pretty low swing weight. So great maneuverability here, really, really sublime feel and feedback and uh, really comfortable from the Dunlop uh, Sonic Core technology, which is kind of like a foam field. Last but not least, another head racket here, the head Gravity Pro, currently have a great deal on these at 149. This is endorsed on the tour by Sasha Zverev and uh, just a really, really solid player's racket. Um, not uh, quite as easy power as the Speed Pro, which I started off with, and that's because of that thin beam, kind of like the Phantom. Really low flex, lots of feel, but then it's still pretty forgiving for the modern baseliner because you have this big round 100 square inch head. So really easy to find the sweet spot on this one and just a great all court racket if you like that kind of heftier feel and that, that dense pattern. So that pretty much wraps up the 1820s that I have for you today and we'll see you next time.